the the minister got up and he said, "Today I want to talk to you about sex." And so I immediately go, "Uh oh, this could be a problem." And, and he took a red rose and he smelled it and he showed how pretty it was and then he threw it out into the crowd. He goes, "Everybody needs to smell this." There's about a thousand of us there, almost all of us college and high school. Smell the rose. I want you to smell it. I want you to touch it. I want you to see the texture in it. You do it, do it, and I'm going to teach. And, and then he began what, honestly, up until this day, and this might have to do with my heart, I don't, I'm still wrestling, um, was one of the worst, most horrific handlings of what sex is and what it isn't that I ever sat through. It, it was fear-mongering at, the, at its best. It was, um, you don't want syphilis, do you? And everybody's smiling and having a good time until there's herpes on your lip, and you, right? And so I'm just thinking with Kim beside me, what are you doing? What are you doing? And, and then as it wraps up, he goes, where's my, where's my rose? Where, where, where is it? Where's, where's my rose? And you know, some kid came up, the rose is just completely jacked up. It's broken, the things are off, the petals are broken. And, and he lifts it up in his big crescendo. I mean, his point is to hold up that rose and go, now who would want this? Who would want this rose? And I remember feeling anger, like real, legitimate, I want to hurt him, anger, and it was all I could do not to scream out, Jesus wants the rose! That's the point of the gospel, that Jesus wants the rose, that he made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf, that we might become the righteousness of God in him, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, Christ won, you're not even teaching the basics of our faith, getting the gospel right matters. If you get, if you get the gospel wrong and you don't distinguish between what the gospel is and what morality is, then what you've done at best is restrained the hearts of people, but you will not see their hearts transformed. If you don't get the gospel right, then what ends up happening is men and women become conformed to a pattern of religion, but they are not transformed by the Holy Spirit of God. Without the gospel, you inoculate people to Jesus Christ. You give them just enough of Him to never know Him.